All right, folks, we're back. The next race is the Breeders' Cup. Qatar Racing Breeders' Cup. Sprint, six furlongs the distance. The purse is $2 million. And your favorite is going to be Jackie's Warrior. And probably, if you're looking for anything, pick six, pick four, pick three, anything, that's probably going to be a single horse in there because... This was probably champion male sprinter already. And them three O's that, yeah, I think uh, three O's, Dr. Shivel, Fallen C, uh, they, fellow three O's, they got a, they got a slimmering chance. But you got the veterans, the fighter, the biter, freezing fire, and Aloha West. Lexitonian and Special Reserve. Special Reserve probably one you gotta look out for. That's the probably the horse I like, but Jackie's worried to lose this. Probably not gonna happen. Alright, let's look at him. Let's start out here with following C. Todd Pletcher. Coming off the Voss Ferry victory. And that, that race, the the leader. The, the favorite in that race, he, he stumbled and really didn't get the lead. And he just uh, follows, he kind of inherited and just went on with it. So, Parisian Fowler was second in that race. But you see, when he faced Jackie's Warrior, he just, the no competition there in the Dallas Jerkins. Here's Jackie's Warrior. Only loss was at mile 16 for an, uh, and in the Breeders' Cup Juno last year, to Central Quality. Lost twice to Central Quality. And drain the clock at Belmont, Woody Stevens. So I'm not going to say he's a lock. But he's just pretty much improved off those races. And if, if, if he stumbles or something, that may be his only chance of uh, losing. Let's move on to CZ Rocket. Peter Miller. Yeah. Six furlongs. I think it'll be just a little bit too short. Now, if they get out there, pace duel or something, he might have a shot. Mature Sky, number four. He's over here to fill the race to me. Aloha West, Wayne Catalano. Something had to fall apart for his horse to win. He finished the next uh, special reserve. So it gives him a shot there. Frisian Fire. Honestly, I don't think he's going to like the course. As if he ran here once, and didn't do anything. Plus the race, I think the race don't set up for him. It's just too fast. Alexitonian, another one. Race too fast. If he has any shot, he's going to come flying from behind, which he did in uh, the Bing Crosby last year. Second here in Del Mar. So we'll move on to Special Reserve number eight. And since claim from Wim Dole, and uh, Dole Williams, I'm sorry. The Mike Maker stepped him up, but Mike Maker's pretty good, man. When he gets something, he's like, he can turn that lemon to lemonade. One of the Phoenix at Keenan last time out. Second in the Vanderbilt, the Lexitonian. He's gonna have to step it up to beat to beat the uh, the favorite here. And Dr. Shovel, Dr. Shovel, he broke on top, went on the one rain last time, beat CZ Rocket pretty easy. He has a shot because he liked Del Mar. Three for three, horse for course, flavor and pride. You never throw him out, Mark Glatt. Nice, decent work. This would be probably be an upset horse because it would be an upset if Jackie's Warrior lost. So uh, I'm going to go with Jackie's Warrior. I don't think Jackie can lose. Like I said, it's probably he's going to have to stumble or something to lose this race. So tell me what you like. Hit the like, subscribe button. Just, just fun. Just my picks. I'm just a win play show person. I don't mess with all those triple actors, super factors. But my pick for the Breeders' Cup sprint will be 
Number two, Jaggy's Warrior. <laughs>